Dear Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Levi and this is your weekly tarot reading. It's a timeless reading, so anytime you watch this video, this is for the following seven days. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And with that, let's get to it. So dear Aquarius, please tell me what makes you believe that you are not enough? What makes you believe that you have to have more, you have to do more, you have to be more, you have to, you have to um, uh, get something, let's say artificial or something uh, specific that's going to make you feel good about you, that uh, makes you feel um, uh, worthy. In the center we have here the five of pentacles, which is scarcity mindset, together with the devil, It's something you believe in. It's something that you think that you are just not good enough. Or someone make you feel that way. Whichever is that, I have to tell you that it's not true. I have to tell you that you being in this planet right now, it's already worth it of living, worthy of enlightenment, worthy of wealth, worthy of happiness, worthy of everything. If anything or anyone doesn't want you to believe that, it's not your problem, it's their problem, and you should not believe this nonsense, and you should not allow anything or anyone influence you. If your, if is your, if, uh, your boss tells you that you are stupid, it's his problem. If your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever it is that tells you that you are not good enough, it's not your problem. It's their issue. So please do not let anything make you be something that you are not. Because it's going to put you in a prison, in a pain, in a, in a hell with the devil himself. Who or what is the devil in your life? Sometimes this talks about toxic relationships, compulsive behavior, drinking, smoking, glam, uh, gambling, obsessive um, uh, um, sex, possession, Sometimes it talks about a relationship towards something or someone that is possessive, jealousy, everything that comes into you, in your subconscious down and keep you in a prison, keep you on this chain. It's a choice to be on this chain. It's a choice to take that drink, to smoke that cigarette, to take the drug, to have the anger. Switching off, going to a different state because you don't want to face the reality. Sometimes, yes, the reality is painful. Sometimes, yes, you are in the dark. But negativity, substances are not the solution. And if you are in the dark, trust yourself that you're going to get out of the dark. And you have the way out. You have the way out of this situation. Whatever situation you are in right now. If it's family problem. If it's financial problem. If it's career problem. If it's all of them at the same time. If it's emotional problem. You have the way out. But you need to find it within you. In your subconscious. Because you have the way out. Two aces, two opportunities, two cards talking about the same things with a moon in the middle, which represent the problem in the subconscious. But where the problem is, the solution is there too. You might have to juggle. You might have to use your creativity. You might have to ask your friends, family for, for support, for opinion, for help, for 
but the right people. It might gonna take some time to juggle with your finances, with your emotions, with your love, with your, with your time. It might not happen one day to another, but the choice has to be made. I wanna live healthier. I don't touch another drink. I don't meet this person again. I block this phone number. I leave this toxic work situation. I go somewhere where they appreciate me. Whatever situation you're going through in your life right now, dear Aquarius, it's, it applies the same way. If you feel you are little, then you are little. If you feel you are dumb, you are dumb. But if you feel if you are, you are powerful, then you are powerful. If you feel the door is there for you, you can sneak out. Something bothering you. There is a door you can sneak out. You have the people around you who are supportive. You have your family, friends around you who are willing to make the sacrifices and to help you. But you need to find solid ground. You need to find first the stable ground and say, okay, this is this square here, I don't move. I don't go any below. I'm gonna stay, this is the minimum. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let anything affect this minimum stability I can create in my life. There are a lot of financial things, a lot of cards here talks about your finances, your energy, your wealth, your, your, um, your strength, your physical attributes. So you must focus on your own stability without the external, without the substances, without anything and anybody uh, try to drag you down to their level. It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna get some bruises, you're gonna get pain, you're gonna have, you're gonna be tired, of course, but you're gonna get tired either way. Giving up something is not supporting you. Yes, it's gonna make you tired first. You start a new diet you never tried before. Of course, your body gonna feel weaker. But after that, you're gonna be more energetic. You need to tame that lion within, that lion that tells you that you are not enough. You need to grab that lion and say, you know what, now I'm in control. I'm in control in my life, with my life, with my energy. And I'm focusing on where and uh, who I put my energy into. My time, the effort. Now I'm deciding who is worthy and I'm the first one. And if you have to go back, like you have to go away a little bit to, to, um, to find strength, so be it. If you need to calm down, relax, step back to find your strength again, so be it. Do it. Have that peaceful time for you. Walk away, go for a retreat, close your doors, shut the... Uh, whatever the outside, the out, uh, the noise out, shut it out and say, now it's time for me to deal with myself. And I have to do it myself because nobody can help you if I don't help myself. It's going to be tough for you, but when the devil shows up, it's good because you know exactly what you're dealing with. It's not something unknown. It's not something hidden. It's not something you don't know what to do with. Is right in front of you. You know who or what exactly you have to deal with. So please do. So dear Aquarius, let me know in the comment box below how do you feel? How, how does this resonate with you at all? And now let me give you a couple of cards. Focus on what you want and focus on what you don't want so you don't fall back into that trap. Next. Flexibility. Things are not going to be different if you don't change. You need to be flexible. If you if you want the same as it was before, then you're not gonna you're gonna say what you had before. You're not gonna have anything different. Okay, and the final card. Freedom. 
freedom. Free yourself from all the pain, all the suffering, everything that the devil is representing in your life. Freedom. Free yourself like a bird flying up there in the sky. Not this guy or girl being on a chain. Hold it down by the devil. I can't express it any any uh, like any stronger. This is so strong. The imaginary is so strong in a tarot. Right. Let's see what the fairies wants to tell you. Nurture your inner child. Because that relationship will be always be there for you. Whatever you go, whatever you do, whatever the inner child within you knows exactly what you feel, knows exactly what you need in this life. But if you listen to the external sound, the external noise, then you're listening to the wrong, wrong uh, ideas. Message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me la with light. I love you. It might be someone from the past. Maybe someone passed away, someone who is very close to you. This is the message for you. I'm thinking of you in this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And then another card says, time, you are trying too hard. Give it time. What do you want to try to do so badly? What is it that you're trying to hold on to so badly? Let it go. Have that rest. And now, finally, let me give you a couple of moon cards. Let's see. What's the message? Bring love into the situation. Emotions are running high. The energy is gaining momentum. So something you have to change in here. The energy is gaining momentum. Your emotions are running high. But... Is it negative emotion you're bringing into a situation or is it positive emotion you're bringing into a situation? It's not the same. Bring love into the situation. Positive energy. And the devil can go and whatever he wants. Don't let the devil and the negative energy be in this situation. Bring love. And with that, dear Aquarius, I wish you a fantastic week ahead. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a comment below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, please check out the links below in the description box. You can get some nice little uh, jewelries from the Onyx Heaven. It's a, it's a small family shop, so every support is uh, appreciated. Thank you.